Hey guys. So she's here. She actually arrived on Friday. Today is Sunday. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and properly unbox her. But this is Valadana. And as you can see, the name Valadana Customizable Vinyl Fashion Doll. And this is her beautiful box. This is the back of the box. I'm going to have to move these things because I don't have enough space here. <sighs> space. We need more space. The top of the box. The bottom of the box. And as you can see, the bottom of the box says that the doll is for ages 15 and up. Side of the box. On both sides. And the box opens up. One side is all rainbow. And there she is. Now, just from looking at her before even taking her out, I can tell you in person, one of the things a lot of people have been complaining about, at least the people who are the complainers and complaining about her body, is that her boobs and her proportions are unrealistic, whatever. She's supposed to be unrealistic. A couple of people say, oh, her boobs are bigger than her head. No, they're not. The pictures, apparently the pictures online make it look like her boobs are really, really big. But her head is bigger than her boobs. Her boobs are not bigger than her head. They're not the same size as her head or anything like that. They're actually a decent proportion to her hips so I don't know what the hell people are complaining about see that's the thing want to judge a book by its cover they see pictures right away online and oh the whole, everybody goes crazy but no apparently not she comes with a stand and she's articulated so let's see if we can get her out of here the box which it looks fairly simple I don't want to mess the box up because I think the box is really nice they did a really nice job look I just opened it up and looked at the flaps <laughs> they did a really nice job with the box and then she just slides right out in this plastic case she has that plastic casing. And I got the one with the lavender hair. They have lavender hair, black hair, and blonde. As you seen from my last video. So this just comes right off. The casing and oops. The casing is shaped for her body. I keep banging the camera. Well, that is the top casing of her plastic casing. And there she is. Now before I take her out, I'm going to see, she has a very strong Vinyl smell, definitely. Her upper body part is covered with this plastic. Yeah, it, her material feels nice and porous to be able to paint on it. Her legs are definitely made from a different material. 
And then her torso, you can you can just tell by looking at it. The color's a little different. And she has this really cool stand, so let's pull her out. There's the bottom part of her stand. And the top part of the stand. The stand feels like it's very good quality. And she has her articulation. Wrist. She has like a ball joint in her wrist. She has um, the joint in her elbow is also like a ball. It can be turned all the way around. Her knees. There we go. So she's single jointed. She has circulation in her knees there. And it seems like her hip joint. Oh, it turns. You can turn to the side. I think, yeah, it doesn't. That's as far as I'll go. This is the wells in here for the butt where her legs are at. So I guess she's not meant to sit. She's meant to stand, I guess. She has very long legs. She is supposed to be 12 inches, I believe. Let's take the bag off. Her arms are very long. She has articulation in her shoulder. Her hands are big karate chop hands. <laughs> Alright, so now let's um she has articulation here in the waist. She can go it turns all the way. Her head turns all the way. Doesn't have much more motion than that. And now the boobies. The boobies are squishy. They're and it's like um it's like a covering. It feels like silicone or something. And it's like a covering piece on another piece. See? And if I'm feeling she has a regular breast in there. Like as like size, see? Those bumps right there. Those would be like her regular boobies. She has a belly button. She has a booty. <laughs> and I have to say, I can see the drag queen aesthetic that the doll, you know, that this doll is modeled by, um, for. Because that butt definitely looks like a padded butt. And the boobies are like their own separate little breastplate. <laughs> and the legs are very long. Like most men have long legs, right? And arms and big hands. Those are her ears. She has these small ears, but you could probably pierce them and put earrings on her. Now let's look at the hair. Oh, let's see. 
She doesn't have a lot of hair. She is rooted. The hair is rooted. It doesn't feel bad. But it doesn't feel like it's super, super duper quality. I don't know. I mean, it could be could be too because of the, the the color because you know how depending on the color of hair sometimes that depends on the quality and how it feels but no it's not too bad you can always give these dolls you know you can always give them a wig if if you feel like it's not enough hair but so far, I'm feeling, oh yeah, she's got some nice uh, tooth going on here on um, the head, I don't know what's, something's here on the eye, I might have to take a magic eraser to her and clean her up, but... I know she's not in the frame. Just give me a minute because I need to look in the light. I'm not sure, but I think mine on this eye well here. I'm going to try and clean that off, but there's something, something rough there. I don't know if there's scratches or glue or what, but I'll try and clean it off and see what it is. But no, yeah, she she's very she she's very poor. She has a lot of tooth. So I'm guessing if you were to buy this doll and you didn't have sealant, and I'm sorry, I keep shaking the table and everything. And you didn't have sealant, I'm assuming you would be able to at least draw on her face for sure. This here is a different type of plastic than the legs and everything else, and then this. So, I mean, for the rest of the body, you might need to spray, but for the face, for the way it feels, the material, you should be okay. Now, let's see the stand. It's pretty easy to put together. It's adjustable. Let's see if I can get her onto the stand. And she's pretty heavy. She has a lot of weight to her. Now remember, this doll is not supposed to be... Um, for play. Remember, she is an art doll. She's meant to be customized, painted, you know, do whatever you want. Um, she does seem a little top heavy. And it's not the boobs, because the boobs don't have any weight to them. They're hollow silicone over over like piece but I think it's just her head and her upper and the uh, stand her waist is a little smaller than the stand so that's another reason probably why she keeps uh, kind of flopping back in the picture she's like that and in, in the pictures when she's on the stand she's like that so I think she's just like, no. So there. There she is on her stand. All in all, I'm happy with her, and and I'm I'm excited to 
start customizing her and stuff. Um, is she worth the $40? I would say yes. I would say yeah, I think she's worth it because one, she comes with a stand. Two, she's she has weight to her. She's not like light. She doesn't feel cheaply made. The material she's made from feels good. Um, she has rooted, even though it's like not a lot and everything, but she has rooted hair. She already has a good amount of tooth to her if you wanted to start painting her right out of the box. If you're like not a professional, you're not comfortable with it and spraying sealant and stuff. The stand is, feels like it's pretty good quality. It doesn't feel super cheap. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think so. I think she's she's great, yeah. I'm really happy with my Valadonna. Um, she does have healed feet. I am not exactly sure what shoes she's going to fit. They look kind of big compared to a Barbie. I don't have any extra shoes out right now. They're all put away. But looking at her feet, they do look kind of big. I think I have some Monster High um, shoes. And I wrap the high shoes here. I can try that. But, um, I don't think her feet are going to fit into Barbie shoes at all. So let's try. Looking for something that will be just easy to put on. Let's try this, um, Frankie shoe. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Things are always flying out of my hands. That's nothing new. <sighs> now this shoe is kind of like stiff, so... She doesn't have any toes. There's no definition, no detail of toes. It's more like, um, okay, here, I got it on. It's more like when you put on pantyhose or something. Yeah, the Monster High shoes are too big. Definitely too big. There's too much space. So those, those, those don't fit. I can always try something like this. And let's see. I mean, I was able to get, I think this is the left foot. Yeah, they're, they're pretty big. They're big for her. But I mean, if you was to put one on like this, you can't really tell. <laughs> You couldn't really tell too much, but you can see the way this the space is back here. I think that these are cute though on her because she matches her hair. So you might be able to get away with putting on certain types of Monster High or Ever After High shoes on the her, depending which ones. I do have a couple of other shoes there that are not like Barbie. Or anything like that. I just have to find them. And see if they fit. So my, my only. If I had to complain. Like if I had to make a complaint. Or say anything negative. It would be that. She doesn't stay straight. Well there. I got her to stay straight. <laughs> but pushed her. I got her to stay straight. More or less. But. Her body does like to kind of 
lean backwards be, um, because of the waist articulation is a little, it's a little loose on the loose side. Now, I don't think that's a defect or anything. I think that's just how the doll is made because of this extra covering piece here of the boobs. But, yeah. It's definitely, definitely, the pictures definitely do make certain body parts of her proportions look a lot bigger than they are in person. She is a lot different in person than the pictures. The pictures do exaggerate. I mean, she's exaggerated. Yes, the body's exaggerated. It's drag queen form. It's pat, you know, with padding and breastplates and and corsetting and and all that stuff. But from the way she's depicted in pictures, in person, she's a lot more normal looking, in my opinion. Anyway. So if I had to give a review a number from 1 to 10, I would give her an 8. And that's only because, like I said, I feel like the waist articulation can be a tiny bit um, tighter. She cannot sit her legs. The articulation in her hips is limited. And I feel like she could have had more hair. So, those are my only three um, negative things about her. Other than that, I'm happy with her overall. So, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my box opening and that's my review for Valadana. And depending on how this goes with my customization of her, I will probably purchase the, um, the one with the black hair as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. You know, feel free to comment below. If you're going to be rude or nasty or anything, you better believe that your comment will be deleted. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified for my um, next video upload. All right, guys. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye.